Hello and welcome to Whiskey Web. Uh, today I have for you a very special whiskey. This is my second whiskey review. Uh, today we have a nine year old cast strength long row. I picked this bottle up in so December 2017 and uh, cost me a princely sum of £45 for um, this limited edition long row which was bottled exclusively for the Springbank Society. Um, it was aged exclusively in fresh Sauterne hogsheads. So Sauterne wine is quite a sweet wine and it's just given it a lovely sweet body to, to this whiskey. And this was one of 1133 four bottles and uh, because I'm a member of the Springbank Society it came with a little personalized card as well with my name and my um, society number. Um, I visited Springbank Distillery probably around 2015 or so for the first time and if you're going to visit any distillery in the world it's probably probably my first choice out of any distillery. It's an absolutely incredible place on the southwest corner of Scotland on the Kintyre Peninsula in the town of Campbellton. And what makes it so special is the ethos of the distillery. Uh, it's family owned, it's independent, it's been in the Mitchell family for five generations now and it's got a philosophy of community first um, where a job could be done by one machine, they would rather hire five or ten locals. Uh, so for quite a small distillery they have a lot of staff and that's because of the philosophy of the owner. He wants to create local employment. So really it's a social distillery and they, they operate old school in terms of the way they do things. There's no computers in the distillery. Um, so for example the malt bins uh, have a chalkboard where they just tick whether it's empty or full and what's in each one and then they have a little stone that hangs from a string which tells you the uh, level of the hot liquor tank so uh, there's no computers in the place really it, it's very very traditional and there is a, a whiskey school you can do there so you can go there for five days and you can learn all these traditional techniques and the thing I love most about the Springbank distillery is they do pretty much everything on site um, so they're the only distillery in Scotland that does 100% of their own malted barley and they go all the way through um, mashing, fermenting, distilling and bottling on site as well. So all the bottles are hand bottled too. Uh, so quite an extraordinary place and I really recommend it if you ever, ever have the chance to go. It will really um, deepen your interest in the whiskey production process. So for this whiskey here feel very privileged because for the price £45 I mean it's, it's incredible value and it's a very unique whisky. Um, I love Springbank, Long Row and Hazelburn, the three whiskies that come from the Springbank distillery uh, but Long Row I love the most and the reason why is because it's the most heavily peated so this one has a PPM in the region of 50 parts per million um, so they, they put the peat on the, the barley for about 48 hours or so. It's, it's a, quite a long peating process and oh oh wow <laughs> just gives it a, an incredible peaty blast initially but underneath that you've got notes of caramel, toffee, creme brulee, vanilla and a lot of sweetness coming from the Sauterne cask uh, with that sweet wine I'm getting a bit of almost salted caramel now as well. It's uh, one of the things they do as well is they age all the casks around the distillery. Uh, a lot of distilleries transfer their casks to central warehouses around Scotland, sometimes in the mainland. But for uh, Springbank, they're, they're all there, and you get a, a real sea breeze coming in. Now it's about it's right on the coast, and you get the the sea air. You can almost like taste the salt in the air. Um, there's a good video actually at the ralphie.com and he's got seven videos in a sequence where he tours the distillery 
and uh, one of them, the tour guide, said um, that if he parks his car at the front of the distillery, by the end of his shift there'll be a, like a layer of salt on the window. So with all that salt in the air, there must be some saltiness getting into the, the cask, I reckon. My God, that's good. That is incredible. Um, they also use um, worm tub condensers. So from one of the stills, um, it's a, sp a copper spiral that goes down a big cylindrical vat, and it gives it a rich oiliness. Uh, a traditional worm tub condenser would give a, a more rich oily character compared to a, a normal shell and tube condenser. And the other thing that's really giving me that kind of like, almost like burnt caramel flavour, like deep dark sugar, brown sugar. Um, they have a direct fired wash still. So it's a 10,000 litre still and it's direct fired from underneath which causes a bit of this browning or malleard reactions it's called. And you end up with that kind of like dark rich sort of caramel flavour. Um, so because of their traditional techniques uh, they're able, able to create these like wonderful flavours in their whiskies. And being cast strength, it's got a full strong delivery. 56.3%, uh, it's just giving you all that flavour and you just feel it going down. It's just a warm, delicious sensation. And uh, when I release this video, it's going to be Valentine's Day. And this is my uh, first love, other than my wife Lydia, is a long row whiskey. And uh, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a good one. And, this is a rare one, it's probably not around much these days, but if you ever get a chance to try a long row, uh, I highly recommend it. There's just so much flavour going on there. And uh, in fact, the whole range, whether it be Springbank, Hazelburn, or Long Row, uh, you're going to have some enjoyable tasting experiences. Um, when I was a member of the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society in Leith in Edinburgh, um, some of my favourite bottlings of uh, Springbank, it was Springbank, it was like uh, To The Man Aboard and there was all these other sort of Cowboys Delight, ones like that. And uh, I remember taking one to um, a Billy Connolly uh, gig, I smuggled it in and I just shared drams of this cast strength Springbank with my family and it was just, yeah, one of those like wonderful memories and just, you know, there's a perfect whiskey for every moment and Springbank was it on that occasion. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, if you've got any questions about Long Row, then please post them in the comments below. Uh, anything at all about the production process or, or how they peat their own barley or anything like that, then I'll, I'll try and find some answers for you. Um, but yeah, enjoy your drams uh, on this wonderful Valentine's Day and hopefully find a good one. Thank you so much. Bye for now.